so hello there and today guys welcome back to my channel and right now is i am going to show you on how to use monday.com for your task management so this monday.com allows users to manage projects meet tight deadlines and collaborate with team members remotely so you just need to go here and then search for monday.com and head over here and then you will be able to see here this official website of this monday.com and as you can see here this is a new way of working and you just need to click on this one and then you will be redirected to this dashboard of your uh, monday.com this is your main dashboard and as you can see here you'll be able to see here your recipe visited then some updates and then in this part guys you will be able to see here the home my work favorites main workspace and then you just need to tap on this one and then you'll be able to see here and here you can add another workspace for you to have a new workspace and it's up to you if what's the name of your new workspace for example today is this one the task management and you can decide the privacy of this one then after that one is you just need to click on this blue button add workspace and then after that one guys is in this part you will be able to see here your new workspace this one task management and right here guys in this part you will be able to see here your new workspace you can also add a description about your task management so it's up to you if you want to add something and then after that one is you will be able to see here uh, members you can invite members here to your workspace you just need to type on their email account and then you can invite them after that one so you can see here and then in this part guys is you will be able to see here add from templates or start from scratch so it's up to you if you want to start from scratch and make a template or add a template from this website as you can see here guys is are the different templates that you can see here and in this side you will be able to see here different categories of templates and as you can see here we will be just looking for this task management category and then you will be able to see here the project management and here it's up to you if you want to make something then decide on depending on your liking and here we will be going to use this one the project management and then right here you'll be able to see here the description of this template and then after that one is you can just tap on this blue button this one is um, use template and then after that one is you will be directed to the next page creating your template words then after that one is you can now see your dashboard of your project management and here you'll be able to see here the name you can also change the name to task management and put some description about your task and then here is the main table which is your first view you can also choose different view guys you just need to tap on this plus sign and you'll be able to the gun, the, the chart, the calendar, the canvas, the file gallery, the form, and then the plan. Then let's try to add this one, this kanban, because for me it is the easier view. So as you can see, you'll be able to see here this type of view here. You can edit here, guys. And then here is the first task, which is you can edit the name. So that is a new task. And here, guys, you can also see here a different kind of task. You just need to edit this one. Then, after this one, guys, is you can see here, you just need to click these three dots and then you'll be able to see here. So, you can also delete this one. You just need to tap on that one and then open. And then, right now, guys, you will be able to see here that your last task. And you can also archive that one here. And here you will be able to see the customized cards. And then here you just need to put here some details of your task. 
here you can customize your card and then after this one is you'll be able to see here your task name and then here you can also decide if you want to show column name and then after this one guys is let's proceed to this part where you can now edit other tasks so what you need to do is to just x this one and then here you will be able to choose different colors which is the name of your task then here for example that is this one then the green one the yellow one and here you will be directed to this one and then you just need to tap on this one and decide if what you want to put on that owner part then click on this three dots and you'll be able to see here open task and here you can edit this one and write an update about this task here you will be able to see here you can also add files here here the emoji you can also mention and then files and then the activity log you'll be able to see here in this part and then after that one is you just need to click on that update and that's it write an update and then just x this one if you're done then in this part guys is you can also add it here you can add a new group of tasks or import tasks from the other so you can also search here or type the filter and then in this part you can filter this per this board by a person and find items they're working on so for example that you can add another member to this ad then after that one guys is you can go back to the another view which is your main table here which you can easily edit your task here and then right here guys you'll be able to see here this main table view and then if you want to delete this guys or edit something you just need to tap on that one and then rename it for example so that is this one manage one and then you can also change the status here for example to that is this one i want to change this one or edit label i can also add a label here that's for example to that is this is urgent and then you can also change the color and then just apply it and then you can now change it to urgent so as you can see here guys these are the different section that you will be able to see here and it depends on your liking if you want to change it or remain on that state here you will be able to see here different section guys and then after that one is you can add different columns here for example so that is this one it's up to you guys if you want to add something you just need to click on that add button here you'll be able to see here so you can also use this one for your new column then after that one is you can now see here new task where you can rename it and then add a new one for example that is the urgent task here let's try to edit this one and then right after that one guys is let's go on this part where you will be able to see here the different sections the notifications you can invite members and then after that one is on this part where you can see here the this dashboard here you can try to make a Gantt view but you need a premium account or a premium plan and that's it guys on how to use money.com for your task management